um, I'm in Mauritius with Rita from uh, Mauritian Tourism and uh, it's so nice to be here and um, we're here to enjoy the 50th anniversary of the Independence Day, isn't it? Yeah, great, yes, it's a great day for us. And tell me, has it been 50 years, were you part of the Commonwealth before or were you part of the UK or who were you part of before you got Yeah, we were under the British uh, okay. before and then in 1968 uh, we became independent. Awesome. So you then had a president and... Yeah, we had actually a prime minister and then the republic came off. Okay. Yes. And has it been good for you as oh, a country? it's been very, very good. Very good. Because, uh, you know, the, even the World Bank economists thought that we would never survive. But we made it. But you, you know? did because you're such a beautiful holiday island. It is. You are own Caribbean. Yeah, uh, well, there's more to do. You know, it's not only a beach destination. There's more to the beach, actually. There is the culture, you can discover actually the multicultural facet of the destination, the culinary uh, aspect of it, and uh, there is a lot of inland sport, you know, we have mountains, you can do biking, mining. Well, last night, yesterday on the plane, I heard about Lover's Rock. Yes, Lover's Rock. I heard about Rock. that for the first, first time. Yes, <laughs> yes, they are really unique sites in Mauritius. And of course, you have a lot of historical sites as well, because we were a French colony, a British colony. And then you have the, the upper Vestigat where the Indian immigrants came after the British, okay. you know, and then we have Le Monde, which is very symbolical, uh, you know, uh, where, um, you know, the people, uh, the slaves were there, and there's a lot of history there. And then, of course, you have, uh, I was uh, talking about the inland sport, and you have unique birds in Mauritius, you know, our national park. Uh, uh, the Black River Boys, they have unique birds like pig pigeon. And then we have, uh, we are very uh, conscious about the environment. We, we, we try hard to protect the environment and have sustainable tourism. We try to manage because it's a small island, you have to be very careful. So there's a policy in place to, uh, to make sure that we have sustainable tourism. And I think that's important for any country, including one as small as yours, because without sustainable tourism, you could end up, especially responsible tourism, we've learned that with Cape Town not having any water, That's we're right. trying to teach guys how just not to abuse uh, water yes. just because you can, yes. um, it's not going to last forever. Yes. So I think that's a very good start. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. And we, we work with the community as well, make people, you know, in the villages, everywhere, make people aware that, you know, it's a very important pillar of our economy. So we need that. So we need to protect the environment. If we don't have it, nobody will come and will affect definitely our life. I think so. And I think a lot of South African businesses are moving here as well. Yes. Because you have a very good business ethic. Yes. yes. Uh, your banks support them. Yes. And a lot of our business guys are opening offices here. Yes. yes. And I think it's important for them to know that the country will be, um, they'll be able to sustain themselves once they move here. Sure. We, the government offer a lot of facilities for the business actually to come and investment and they want to they want to recruit and they, to recruit Mauritians as well to work for this company. This is the whole idea so that they can generate jobs for the economy of the country as well. And then they won't leave the, the country because we have that problem often is when our kids leave the country and yeah. we don't want our kids to leave, we want them to have employment. Exactly. So and then it's we, a great start to Yeah. To we encourage in investors, we encourage our people for example our di diaspora, we have lots of Mauritians who have uh, studied abroad and been very successful. We are encouraging them to come back and give back to the country and partake their knowledge. But I think that's amazing and thank you for having us. I think that's been just one of the nicest trips, I think, press trips I've been on. Um, the hotel, the Le Safran, is, is just beautiful. Um, it looks like it's a business hotel, but it certainly seems to, to its business people really well. Um, and I think included in the 50th independence um, is being able to see quite a few of the, the destinations that people can see besides the beach hotels. Exactly, exactly. There's so many things to do. You have a whole checklist here. You know, you can. It, it really suits the different uh, uh, types of travelers. You know, if you want to play golf, you can play golf. If you want to uh, do big game fishing, you can. If you want to do hiking, you can. If you want just to relax on the beach, get on an island just for yourself. You take a small boat and you go in an island and you just relax. So really, even though we are small, we really have so many things to do. Thank you.